Good morning, Gibraltar! What an amazing day it's gonna be today. And I'm starting it off from early sunrise. It is 9.30 a.m. right now. And I am on the largest sandy beach in Gibraltar called Eastern Beach. It's very, very long and it gives a picturesque view over the rock of Gibraltar which is the main attraction here that we're gonna see also through my videos later because this is Beach Adventures with Chris and I'm exploring the beaches of Gibraltar today yes uh, and I'm gonna be sharing you interesting facts in all of my episodes and the first fact for the day is that Gibraltar it's a British overseas territory, a tiny one that's located in the southern part of the Iberian Peninsula and it borders Spain. And obviously, in order for me to get here, I passed a passport control. There is uh, no other restrictions, it's like just you enter in the UK, so you need actually you must have the right to enter or you need a visa but with a european passport and eu one that i have swedish one it was just as easy to, to get in so quite it's chilly morning to be fair it's well 15 degrees celsius and it is blowing but i'm so happy that i'm gonna be exploring gibraltar today i actually gotten off a uh, early bus from malaga at 6 30 and it took two hours and 15 minutes to reach here uh, so quite fast and uh, yeah i thought that it would be a pity if i haven't visited uh, gibraltar when i'm so close to it so gibraltar today and some more beach adventures in malaga tomorrow so yes 
As I mentioned, this is the, probably the best and largest beach in Gibraltar, Eastern Beach, facing east, obviously, with a beautiful sunrise. And yes, uh, it's, uh, it's also mentioned that it's very family friendly, but I guess that's during the summer, because now it's not, we're not in the summer season, to be fair. But I'm still gonna go in for a nice swim in the sea. So let's get ready. Okay. Look at that sunrise, isn't it beautiful? And to add on top of that, the rock of Gibraltar. And very interesting buildings we see there, very modern. And they are building two more right now. Ah, oh, okay. Let's then try to get in. As I mentioned, it is very easy to get in if you have a European passport uh, or passport from countries that don't require a visa for the UK, as this is obviously British overseas territory. Um, yes, what a nice day. 9th of December, I didn't mention that it is a Saturday. And the beach is mostly empty. I saw two people swimming with traffic suits right there and there were two people also already are taking a bath so I'm not the only one and here we have actually very shallow entrance that's why it is family friendly for kids also as well to enjoy it's very interesting texture a bit similar to the one in Malaga but here you need to walk a bit in order to take a swim and I look forward to visit as many beaches as possible today. And then, if I have time, which I think I will, I will climb on top of the rock of Gibraltar that you can see. I mean, ah, beach with a view. Indeed. <laughs> so nice. Okay, I think I am enough in, in the water. The temperature seems the same like yesterday. I will need to double check that they do some measures because I don't have my water thermometer with me but here we go first beach adventure in Gibraltar let's go Ooh. oh my god I also tried to sneak peek to the water it's so clear I guess it will be a different color also during the day when the sun is more high up but it was so amazing so amazing look at that sunrise and the rock of gibraltar perfect start of my beach adventures here in gibraltar oh i'm gonna be enjoying a bit more here before i head off to the next beach for the day that's not so far away but thanks a lot for watching and hope to see you soon again with another episode from gibraltar where i'm going to share with you more interesting facts about this tiny British overseas territory and yes make sure to, to subscribe to my channel that's called Beach Adventures with Chris